I've had maybe about 50 people so far ask me how I made my logo text thick like that, how I gave it texture and shine. And I'm going to show you in Fireworks. So let's go to Create New Fireworks Document. Let's make it maybe 200, 350 by 200. Let's make it 500 by 200. 500 wide, 200 high. And the text I'm using for that, here, let me write out my text. Sample text. Okay, there's some sample text. And now, all you have to do is get any font that you can download online, you know, free fonts, whatever. And for this one, I'm going to show you what I use. I have uh, Oliver's Barney, which I love this font. I love it because it's fat and it's thick. And you can get nice textures in it. So let's make it a little bigger. There we go. Perfect. Now, we're going to go to the color value and click that. Now you're going to go to the fill options and click that. This is what everybody misses. Click fill options. And you take it from solid to gradient. Now once you're at gradient, what I did was for my channel, the graphics on my channel and my logo, I just moved it up like that and moved the gradient and then I adjusted the gradient to put a nice white shine in the center and then you know, a little darker on the top maybe right about there something like that actually it was more like this a little darker on the bottom than it was on top okay so say you have something like that and then you want to make it textured inside so all you have to do is go back to your fill options see how it says edge you pick whatever type of edge you want and then you give it a texture what I gave it was a metal texture it's also how I made those galvanized looking blades that I have on my channel you see these galvanized looking blades same effect um, <clears throat> it's just done on shapes so let's see the next thing we want to do is add let's see let's go back to those fill options let's make it not so not so full okay so now we have a texture on it and all I did let's see I don't think it was so bright in the center you can change your color values easy a lot of people don't know how to change the color values easily in fireworks you can choose any color hues you want it's so simple okay so now let's put an edge on it a color for the edge just to make that edge come out a little more not so much not so gray right there is about good now let's add a filter effect of drop shadow and there you go that's pretty much how I made that right there you see it's just a drop shadow textures and gradient and it doesn't look exactly like but you get the idea that's how you can make texture and you can change it to any texture you like if you go to back to the color value click it go to fill options and change it from metal to line diagonal see now you got nice sharp smooth diagonal lines on that it looks really good and if you make it really dark on one edge you almost can't see the lines and then make it white on top where it's white you won't see the lines and it'll gradiate, gradiate. let's move that see? on top you can't see the lines but as it gradiates and gets darker the lines start to appear you can do all kind of cool stuff and you can modify this drop shadow turn it make it do whatever you want on my channel it's about like that something like that but that's how it's done we'll see you next lesson